So this video is going to be a little bit different from what I normally put out. I know I make jokes about the game a lot saying how, you know, I don't like this thing, this thing annoys me, this isn't consistent, but it's all more in good fun. Obviously there are some things that do get a little annoying in the game, but I mean, you never take it too seriously. However, there's something that's been frustrating me with MiHoYo that I don't expect to change, but I just wanted to tell you, I guess. Think of it like a bit of a story time-ish? I've told parts of this in live streams and in some videos, but I don't think I've ever fully told what's been going on with my account. So basically, I started my current main Genshin Impact account back when Raiden Shogun's banner was out. I kept re-rolling accounts until I got Raiden Shogun on one of them, which is the one that I kept. Now, if you've re-rolled in Genshin Impact, you know that every time you re-roll, you have to register with a new email because there's no way to reset an account without emailing me Hoyo and having them do it. And obviously that could take a very long time. So I went through email after email after email and eventually ran out of emails I could use and didn't want to keep making more new emails because I already have so many. So I came across this little technique that I found on YouTube videos where you go you get a temporary email from a website, you register that account with me Hoyo and Genshin Impact, you go through, play up through the intro, get to your wishes, do the wishes, if you don't get anything good you just move on to a new email because you just refresh it and it gives you a new email that you can keep using. Now the thought is once you get an account that you do want to keep you just transfer that email or that account to an email that you actually own. The issue I had was I got Raiden Shogun on an account which was great. Then I went in to transfer that email over to one that I actually owned. The issue was in order to do that it would send a confirmation email to the email that's currently tied to your account. In my case this was the temporary email address. So I went into the temporary email addresses inbox and nothing was showing up. So after a couple times of this not working I decided okay I'll just refresh the inbox I mean that then hopefully the confirmation comes through and I can move this over to my actual email. Well I refreshed it and lost access to that temporary email. Now at the time the only way to get this back was to then pay for the service which I didn't want to do. So I opted to just try and reach out to MiHoYo. That was back in September and I don't think I heard back until around November but it was just an automated response that didn't get me anywhere. So I've just been trying to contact MiHoYo's customer support ever since. This means that if I were to ever be kicked out of my account and needed to get into the email to confirm anything or to get back in I would be unable to do so. So recently I went in again and tried to figure this out. I got a little bit further here I got to where they send me a form that I fill out and just kind of prove that I own the account and that I don't have access to the email so I thought you know this is going to work within that it took me a very long time to fill it out because they ask you to basically provide them as much information as possible about your account so they can confirm that you do in fact own the account so I went through I provided my AR I wrote down every character I had what constellations all of them were what their talent levels were what weapons weapons they all had. I told them what date I got most of my characters on because you're able to see that within the character archives. I told them things I'd done recently in the game, things I had not yet done, what languages I play on, and I basically just tried to give as much information as possible that only I would be able to see by owning the account. I even sent them screenshots from within the game to prove that I was playing on the account that was in question. A few days later, which was just about an hour ago, I get an email back saying, After evaluating the information you provided, I regret to inform you that our team found that they were incomplete and inconsistent. To ensure account security, we are unable to provide the service to retrieve this account. Kindly review the information you previously submitted. If you find something needs to be changed, kindly email us again. Well, I'll tell you right now, emailing them again does absolutely nothing because they will not respond to that. And there's no information that is incorrect. So that's why I'm unable to log into this account on any device except for my computer. And also why I refuse to spend a dollar on this account. Since it's my main account, I would love to 
spend just a little bit of money here and there to get the characters that I want most so I can make videos with them and just in general have more fun and have more content. But I absolutely refuse to even buy the battle pass because for all I know tomorrow I could lose access to the account and they're not going to help me get it back. And since I don't have access to that email anymore, I'm just kind of out of luck. Some of you may know I do have the sword only account running at the same time as my main account and obviously I've been talking about maybe doing another bow or catalyst account but I was kind of waiting for a number of reasons one of which was I wanted to go back on my main and just try and complete everything in the game like 100% every region do every quest available every story quest like do everything maybe stream some of that make it into some videos just kind of have fun on that account because I've invested a lot of time into it but don't often get to use it so I was waiting to hear back from me Hoyo hoping that I could get that moved to an actual email and not have to worry about any of this stuff but now since they're not going to help me I feel like it's not smart for me to invest more time into my main account. I did have a co-op video I was recording on my main today and yesterday. I don't know if that's going up because I still need to get more footage and I don't like posting videos unless I feel like it's going to be entertaining and that one I'm not sure of yet so I'm gonna have to record more but that's besides the point. I would love to invest time and some money into my main account but like I said if I lose access to it, if something happens, if it gets hacked, if I don't know, if they just decide that no one can log into their account without first confirming the email for security reasons, I don't have the account anymore. Now obviously I don't like making videos that are almost more negative and not based on entertainment like this one, and like I mentioned previously I don't expect this to fix anything, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm dealing with and why I might not be spending as much time on my main account which is really disappointing because I have a lot of characters on there that I do want to build and that I enjoy playing with. So at this point I genuinely don't know what I'm doing with that account moving forward. I guess I can try submitting another request to MiHoYo, though I don't see that doing anything for me because I literally provided as much information as I possibly could and they said it was incomplete or inconsistent with the account. So one of my concerns with starting a sword or bow only account was that I'd have to be juggling three accounts at the same time. But since it looks like playing on my main account might just be a waste of my time down the road, Perhaps I should just start another account and then play on sword only and bows or catalysts or whatever I decide to do. Again, I'm sorry this isn't some entertaining video. I'm going to try to have something out hopefully tomorrow that's actually entertaining and not just me kind of rambling here. But I just wanted you guys to know what's going on behind the scenes. That way when I do make decisions based on what accounts I do or don't play on, you're more aware of why I'm choosing to do that. With all that being said, I will keep trying to get this account account move to an actual email address and in the meantime I will see you guys next time.